at the video this week that we saw of Ernie Wayne in the Montana courtroom. If you didn't see it, go watch it right here on this channel when we're done. Like it, share it, subscribe it, the works. Uh, watch that man being taken by force by the police out of the courtroom in his own trial. Then the trial proceeding without him. No representation for him whatsoever. No evidence, no cross-examinations as they convict him. It doesn't get more illegal than that. All right? Thank you all. It doesn't get more illegal than that in the rules of evidence. And yet these loyalist losers are on there like, well, he should have followed the rules of the court. Guys, I want to talk about the law. Now, we could go to the Sixth Amendment. We could talk about your right to be able to have witnesses on your behalf and, and all the rights that you have that are affirmed in the Constitution, not granted by it. But I'm not going to talk about the Constitution tonight because the Constitution in the USA is gone. What I want you to understand is as it all comes down, as we have to, to flee to other lands, as, as the U.S. goes to ash and maybe someday if we have the honor and the principle it will return, I want people to understand what it actually means to have due process, to be truly assumed innocent, to be given bail as the law requires, to be free from cruel and unusual punishments and solitary confinements and endless prison sentences and psychotic police officers. You need to know this. Because the world's not going to stay the same. The U.S. is not staying, guys. The U.S. is going away. The USA, as a, as a United States of America, is already gone. Do you understand the rules of evidence? And I've seen people with this video of, of Ernie in the courtroom, and I've seen friends where their evidence is denied. I've seen in my own trials, when I went to trial in a kangaroo court, uh, judges deciding what evidence you get. The rules of evidence. Let me be very clear to every judge and fake lawyer and fake prosecutor and, and backseat fakeriot who thinks they know the law. The law is not defined by your political cronies. It's not defined by what a judge says. You know what? The law isn't even actually defined by the Constitution, when you come right down to it, the law is defined by human rights, life, liberty, and property. And there's a lot of videos. There's a law category on this channel if you're one of those people who wants to understand more about law. Not the complex legalese, but just the simple beauty that is law and justice. What's your right to evidence? Your right to evidence is complete. Your right to evidence is whatever you want. Now, I want to really drive this home. This is not Gavin's opinion. This is not the Constitution's opinion. It's not relevant what the Supreme Court thinks. It's not relevant what the psychotic judge thinks. I want you to recognize you don't have what I'm about to say. We don't have due process in our courts. We don't have evidence rights. We don't have right to bear arms. We don't have right to speech. We don't have right to not have cruel and unusual punishment. We have that right inherently as human beings, but no court in the USA recognizes your rights. The juries, for the most part, are dumbed down morons. What, what, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sick of giving jurors a pass. What kind of scumbag jurors, like we saw in Montana, what kind of a scumbag listens to a judge, watches a judge and her cronies drag someone out and give, an, give him an arbitrary contempt sentence and then proceeds to convict that person when the person is not even there and no one is there to represent him? I'm not making an excuse for jurors like you. You guys are losers. You have no character. You have no honor. You are the crony prostitutes of these judges. I recognize that our nation has grown ignorant and that we're sheeple. But you know in your heart, when you are the one who is the instrument of abuse of your fellow man, your ignorance may be relevant, but your crime is equally relevant. And the jurors who are locking away people as they witness these shams of a court, you're accountable. You are human beings, you are adults, you have brains, and you are accountable for the crimes that you help Blue Isis to commit. Now, I, I, I have pity on the jurors. I know that they're brainwashed and deceived and bullied, and yes, we need jury nullification, but it's time to start calling them out too.
Someone said, what would I have done if I was on that jury? I would have jumped up, knowing that as a juror I had some degree of immunity, I would have jumped up in the middle of that encounter and said, whoa, stop, this isn't a trial and I won't participate in a kangaroo court. And I would have turned to my fellow jurors and say, we cannot convict this man. Everything they're doing here is illegal. But let's come back to the topic because I don't want to go too long and I want you guys to understand this. People say rules of evidence. What is the judge going to allow? The judge has no right. The court has no right. The judge's only role is to administer the court and make sure that justice is ensured in the most favorable possible light to the defendant. Why is that the judge's job? Because under due process, you are innocent. Under real due process, you are innocent unless proven guilty. <clears throat> See, these judges are in contempt of our courts. These prosecutors and cops, they're in contempt of our courts. They're not running courts of law. They're running criminal cartel shams with a gun to our head and saying, do it our way or we'll kill you. The judge has no authority to say that evidence isn't allowed unless, thanks Twitter, unless it's to the prosecution. Now, I want to be very clear about rules of evidence and in the court. I've actually heard prosecutors in court, in fact, I believe it was in my trial, saying the state needs a fair shake to convict. The state needs, has the right. And I, I remember thinking, like, this is wrong. And I want to tell you guys, the state, the prosecution as an entity has no rights. The prosecution has no right to evidence. They don't have a right to bring in propaganda. They don't have a right to bring in spin to try and make you look bad. If there's not absolute clear and convincing evidence that they can simply bring in the facts, then they have no case. And they are bringing false charges against you and they should be the ones going to trial. And the society has to stop tolerating this, okay? It has to stop. Nothing should be in the state's favor. And this is a principle of, of history, of natural law, of our founding fathers, of our constitution. This isn't a crazy Gavin opinion. The prosecution gets zero other than to present the facts. And if the defense objects to the prosecution, it's the judge's job to say, wait a minute, yeah, that's not relevant. Prosecution's not allowed. But let's be very clear. When the prosecutor objects to the defense's evidence, they have zero right and the judge has zero right. People say, well, it can't be unbalanced. Absolutely it can. A trial is supposed to be absolutely unbalanced in favor of the defendant, period. If it's not, you don't have due process. You don't have a court of law and you don't have a real trial. You have a kangaroo court. If the prosecutor, and they do this at every time, I see it all the time, oh, they can't enter that. I object, Your Honor, they can't enter that. That argument's not relevant. And the judge, guess what the judges do? The judges almost universally back the prosecution because they're all prostitutes together. They are blue ISIS. The prosecution has no rights. The prosecutor is a human being when he leaves the room. Yes, he has rights. But the prosecution as an entity has no rights in the courtroom. At any time, the judge, the administration, the jury should overrule the prosecutor, but never the defendant. As the defendant, guys, you have the right to call whoever you want. You have the right, if you think it helps to prove you innocent, I'm not saying you should, you have the right to stand on your head and read the Lord of the Rings out loud and make the jury sit there for the entire process. And if... If, if the jury doesn't like it, they can say, screw this trial, we're out of here, this is a joke. Okay, and that's true. Now, I'm not saying you should do that. I'm not saying that's a good legal tactic. I'm saying the prosecution and the judge and the people in the courtroom have no right to prevent you from making whatever case you think on your behalf. You are assumed innocent. You are the one under force being dragged in to make an argument or lack thereof, for yourself. And you have the right to make no argument, or you have the right to make every argument. And if the judge and the prosecutor drag you into court and say, hey, we're charging you with this crime because we don't like what you did, the burden is on them, not on you. They're the one who most likely is wasting your time. They're the one who's the accuser. And if to, to address your case... You want to spend three days reading historical texts. 
That's absolutely your right, and the judge has no say over it. And people say, well, the courts would be pandemonium. It would be chaos. It's already chaos. If the courts were jammed up by people actually getting due process, guys, then the fake prosecutors and the fake judges, they would stop winning. They would stop bringing these trials because there would not be enough time in their lifetime. Everything should go to trial. Every prosecutor should be drugged through the mud. Every judge should be defied. This is how it should be based on the current state in the USA. I want to be clear. I just said these are your rules of evidence, but you don't actually have these in any U.S. court. The judges are there to back the prosecutor and the state. And you need to know that. You need to be able to count the cost of how serious your charges are. Assume that most of the time you will be convicted. And if the charges are large and bogus enough, don't be afraid to walk away and get out. People have to stop showing up for these fake courts, guys. That's what I did. I left the USA because I said, I'm done. I'm not showing up to a fake court. This isn't a judge. This prosecutor isn't a real lawyer. These are scam artists who are trying to molest me, rob me, take my stuff, lock me in a cage, and potentially kill me, and I won't tolerate it. But to not tolerate it, I had to walk away from everything except my family. I took them with me. We have to start treating every single court as the joke as it is, that it is. Even the people who actually maybe have committed a crime, you must start assuming they're innocent because they never were given due process. The rules of evidence were never honored. The rules of due process and innocence until proven guilty were never honored. A jury of their peers was never granted. The juries are rigged. They're dumbed down. Look at the absurd and, and, and stupid decisions these jurors make. These juries are set up. The jury you are given is the dumbest batch of slaves that the prosecutor can manage, and they are there to convict you. Occasionally, we have jurors nullifying. To those of you, I've seen people in this, in this chat room saying, I was on a jury, I nullified. Good for you. Every single case in every court in the USA, the jurors should be throwing out right now. And people say, well, what about the bad guys? The worst people. The largest terrorists, the greatest terrorists in the USA are the ones sitting up there on the bench and running the prosecution and running that courthouse, guys. And yes, people do bad things and there should be consequences. But you cannot punish people for supposed bad things when you, you've never had a real trial to prove that they were guilty, you guys. Everyone sitting in prison right now in the USA has been violated. They are now the victims. Yes, some of them did really bad things. A lot of them didn't. A lot of them are in prison for non-crimes. A lot of them are in prison for real crimes that they never committed because they were never given a real trial. Leonard Peltier, Jeff Winehouse, Schaefer Cox. The list goes on forever. There's millions of them. So stop pretending. Stop sharing these articles like, oh, I'm glad they got justice. Enjoy prison, a-hole. Stop being that moron who says, I'm glad they're in prison. They deserve it. You have no idea what they deserve because you're not hearing the truth. You're not hearing the truth from the media. You're not hearing the truth from the police report. You're not hearing the truth from the judge. The jury isn't hearing the truth. The jury isn't standing for the truth. Your right to evidence is to present anything and everything you want to present in your trial. And the prosecution's right to evidence is to present only what is not deceptive, spin, bias, or unbalanced. And the judge's job is to be there to protect the defendant's right. But the judges now are there to protect the power and the authority of the state. That's the truth in law. And any lawyer, any any juror, any judge, any prosecutor, any, any two-bit pretend fraud of a lawyer who says what I just stated is false and we need to obey the judge is a scam. They don't know the law. They don't represent the law. They represent a body of crony politicians that make them money because they're in the club this time. I'm going to go, guys. Peace. Stand. Be safe. Thank you.